GYD, that is the study of how we make sense of what we read or what we communicate. First question, uh, the first option is the study of the sentence structure and alternative components. This is what we're about? Syntax. syntax. Because in syntax, we study the structure and the order of small components of the structure. In semantics, we study the meaning of words uh, or phrases or sentences. And in uh, pragmatics, we study what speakers mean by their uh, utterances. Remember, there was, a, uh, was an example about the word, uh, the word war. A boy used the word uh, war and other people thought it was World War II, but indeed it was, uh, the boy referred to another war. So when we analyze what others, other speaker mean, then we study pragmatics. But here, when we try to make sense of what we read, uh, when, we, when we read a text, an article or something else, or what we communicate, when we speak with somebody else, when we take part in a conversation, and uh, we try to analyze what we make sense of, what we understand, then we study this course analysis. We analyze this course. So the difference between pragmatics and this course analysis is that in pragmatics we analyze what other speaker do. In this course analysis we analyze what we make sense of uh, the speech of others. Did you understand? Question? Uh, the difference between pragmatics? But the main difference, the main distinct distinction between pragmatics and discourse analysis. For example, there's a conversation, a dialogue. I speak, and there's another interlocutor, another speaker, and he speaks. A dialogue, turn taking. So if if we analyze what we make sense of, uh, of uh, what others say, then we study this course analysis in different situations. But if we're analyzing what others say, we're studying pragmatics. This is the main difference between pragmatics uh, and this course analysis. Is that clear? Not clear. Thank you. Uh, I think I'm going to explain this in Turkish. Pragmatics ile discourse analysis arasında aslında bakın şeyden sonra semantics'ten sonra semantics pragmatics discourse analysis bunların hepsi analiz yani anlam analizi diyelim semantics'te ne yapıyorduk diyorduk ki kelimenin anlamına bakıyorduk bu kelimenin anlamı şu şu kelimenin anlamı bu veya phrase'in anlamı bu cümlenin anlamı bu sadece bir e, ayrı ayrı şekilde bunları değerlendirip anlamına bakalım. Pragmatics'te şuna artık başladık. Diyelim ki birisi bir kelimeyi söylüyor. O kelimeyle kastettiğine, neyi kastediyoruz? Bunu analiz etmeye çalışıyoruz. Bunu analiz ettiğimizde de ne yapmış oluyoruz? Pragmatics olayına girmiş oluyoruz. Biz karşı taraftan, karşı tarafın konuşmalarından ne anlıyoruz? Artık Karşı tarafına söyledi değil de, bizim ne anladığımız, bunu incelediğimiz zaman discourse analysis yapıyoruz. Tabi discourse analysis'in bu sefer alt başlıkları var. Onlara bakarız yani discourse analysis. Mesela bir örnek verin, bir örnek gelecek de. Şimdi birisi restoranta geldi bu skima olayında. Restoranta gidiyoruz. Restorana gitti yemek yedi. Restorana gitti, yemek yedi dediğinde biz ne anlarız? Bundan ne anlayabiliriz? Restoran, eğer arabası varsa, arabayla gitti, restoranın kapısını açtı, masada oturdu, sipariş verdi, garson geldi, yemeğini yedi, parası oldu, çıktı. Yani kafamızda bizim anladığımız şey var. İşte biz bunu analiz etmeye çalışıyoruz. Yani biz insanlar, insanlar konuşurken, insanlar bir cümleyi söylüyor. Yani karşıda, yani bir ifadeyi kullandı. 
Biz bundan ne anlıyoruz? Okay. Mesela e, diyorum ki kapıyı açık bıraktım. You'll have the door open. Uh, say, I'm holding my computer. You left the door open, and she says, I'm holding my computer. So what what do we understand from this expression, from this sentence? So what I understand, she says, I'm sorry, or I cannot open the door because I'm holding my computer. That's why I cannot go and uh, hold the handle and open door for you. I understand this. So when we analyze what we make sense of what others say, then we analyze, we analyze discourse. This is the understanding of discourse. Okay? okay? That's why we say it is the study of how we make sense of what we read or what we communicate. It is the study of how we reject an ungrammatical text or speech. No, we don't do that. A text can be ungrammatical. It may contain a lot of mistakes, but we don't reject it. Because even if, even if it has some mistakes, still we can make sense of it. We can understand. We can comprehend its meaning. Even me, for example, when I speak, sometimes I make grammatical mistakes, right? But still you can understand what I'm saying. You can comprehend or think about children. They use sentences, ungrammatical sentences, but still you can understand because you communicate. Communication means, okay, communication means you understand more than what is said and what is written. Okay, you understand more than what is said and what is written. My hand, my, uh, uh, I'm holding my computer. This is what is said. Okay, I'm holding my computer. So you understand that I cannot open the door because you understand this. You understand that he cannot open the door. So it is extra linguistic information that you comprehend. Okay, this is communication. It doesn't have to be grammatical. Okay? Because you can understand what others say, even they have some, uh, uh, they have some uh, grammatical mistakes. All right. This one, for example, which of the following is not true about the sentences below? Trains collide to die. Trenler çarpışıyor. Eki kişi ölüyor. So there is no connection between two, uh, like in terms of structure or uh, grammar, there is no connection between these two sentences because as a result of this, trains collided, as a result of the accident, two people died or two people died in that tra train accident. No connections. All right? But in spite of this, we can <coughs> We can understand that two people have died in the accident, as a result of accident. So, they are ill-formed, but they make sense. Yes, that's true. Ill-formed. Grammatically, structurally, ill-formed. But they make sense. We can understand. Oh, here, no shoes, no service. That means if you don't wear shoes, you will not be served here. We can understand that. Right? More is communicated than what is written? Yes. More is communicated than what is written. Some uh, part of the sentence is not written, but still we can get it. They can be interpreted in terms of cause and effect? Yes. Cause. Train collision. Result. The death of two people. What is interpreted is beyond their linguistic forms. This is the linguistic forms. Okay? But we interpret uh, that two people die as a result of 
this collision, train collision. We just rely on the structure to, uh, to interpret what it conveys. No, we just do not rely on it is structure. We need to use our uh, extra linguistic information to work out that is meaning, right? And we, we do that. And of course, here there are a lot of factors. We're, go we're going to now explain those factors. Is that okay? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, my clever students. They listen so akalubi should do that. So, uh, if it's not clear, I can explain in Turkish. What do you say? Alright? Here. Now you have to evaluate. Okay. Discourse analysis. In Turkish we say söyle analizi. Is it correct? Check it out. 